Hey, what's up guys? DJ Lefave here with another tutorial. Um, hitting you hot and heavy really fast with this one. You've been having trouble getting your broadcast from Virtual DJ onto Facebook or YouTube or Twitch or wherever you're trying to broadcast it because they keep shutting you down, those, those darn copyright laws. Well, I think I might have a solution for you and it involves Zoom and Virtual DJ and of course my favorite tool, a virtual audio cable. So here's the basic setup, right? On, on my right here, you've got your virtual DJ deck. I've got a song in deck one. I've got a song in deck two. But the real magic has to happen with the routing of the audio out of virtual DJ and into Zoom or Skype or any other application you want to use to create a, a group meeting, right? So the first thing you're going to do is open up your audio settings. On the audio settings, I have my master right now set to go output. It's going out via virtual audio cable. Now think of it this way. You have a virtual audio cable. It's this wire that's this firmware inside your software. And one end of it right now is plugged into your virtual DJ software. So you have your output. You're going out from the virtual DJ software. And now you want to go into Zoom. So we open up the gearbox settings in Zoom. We're going to open up the audio tab. And for audio, you're going to use the output from virtual DJ as your input, which is also known as the microphone. So right here, we have virtual audio cable A. The same one is selected. Now to see if it's working, all I'm going to do is go over to virtual DJ and I'm going to play a song. And then you're going to watch this right here. This input level is going to move, right? So that means right there that it is taking the input from virtual DJ and it's successfully connected into Zoom. So that's how you know your audio is going right there. And, and you might have heard the audio, of course, going over um, on this broadcast. So that's point one. Point two is the speaker. I have my headphones right now through through my Zoom L8, so I'm just listening to uh, the feedback there. But you could set up another audio cable, virtual audio cable, to receive um, through Virtual DJ uh, the audio from your guests. But if you're just spinning records, you can use the chat function. Um, you can add some telemedia to get the, the text to screen if people want to start requesting songs. But Zoom, from what I understand right now, is a free application. You can have up to 100 guests online at a time, and you've got a 40-minute session. Once that 40 minutes is over, you can just re-up and do it another one. Now, you can also, I guess, spring for the $14.99 a month, and then you have, uh, I think, unlimited amount of time to stream. So once you have your broadcast going, right, so we've got that checked off, we got that checked off in Virtual DJ, so now we're just going to start a new meeting. So I click on New Meeting, and this comes up. Hey, there's my name right? So we're going to join with computer audio, which is what we just set up. And we're going to say join with computer audio. Cool. Now we're in, but it just says my name. That's not cool, right? No, not at all. I mean, it is a cool name. I'll give you that. So what we want to do is we want to start the master video session right here. So I'm going to click on my video and now I've got this window open. And this is just the same as if you were going to broadcast on, um, if you were going to broadcast via virtual DJ to Facebook or to YouTube or wherever you're going to broadcast to this window right here is what that output would be. So if you got your video set up, if you're using shaders, if you're using um, special effects, I'm going to show you how that looks right now. So we're going to just start a meeting, right? So um, the meeting is going on and what we're going to do is uh, share screen. So you click on the share screen button down here and all these other screens that you have open right now come up. We're going to click on video and click share. You see this big green box go around your, your video feed right now. So right now you are sharing your screen. Now, so that's check one. You've got your screen, screen sharing. And in Virtual DJ, I have a shader enabled. So once I start playing music, you're going to see it on the screen. Ready? Check it. Bam, you've got music uh, playing on the screen. So, so that would be the same as if you had you and a video going. Um, it would be on that screen. Now, to share this with other folks, all you're going to do is go to more at this top, top of the screen level up here and click on invite. Or you can just hit Alt-I. Alt-I brings up this little box here, and you click on copy URL. The URL has been copied. You go to Facebook, you paste it, you hit send, and now all of your friends are notified that you have a 
a video going live on Zoom that people can come into. Now, there's additional settings in Zoom that you can set up. Um, I'll leave that up to you to figure it out if you want to invite people or not, if you want to mute them. Um, one thing that, that I do is I will go up to uh, Manage Participants, I believe. So, so that's me right there. And you can mute all. So in this box right here, I can hit Mute All and then allow participants to unmute themselves. Now, we don't want to hear you talk. You just want to hear us spin. That's what's up. So we got mute all, and then you can also have this little chat bar open during the entire time. Now this chat comes up, you can text out to everybody on here, or when people pop up, you hit that drop down button and you can text to just single people. So to recap, you're gonna need your virtual audio cable as your master output. That is what's gonna feed your sound from virtual DJ into Zoom. In Zoom, you have to open up your audio settings and make sure that your microphone is set up to the other end of that virtual audio cable. This way now everything you're sending out through Virtual DJ is coming in through the microphone and out on Zoom. Pretty simple, right? And then all you have to do is just play your tune. Ready? Play. pictures some 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 special effects we'll get batman going iron man i like to do the captain america with a little bit of hulk you know dancing in the background but the options are endless and it's all up to you to just have fun and experience all of this so for these tutorials and more if you like liked it like subscribe share them let me let everybody know this will work with serato this will work with any other program uh, tractor very very simple so that's it my name's DJ LaFave. Hope you guys enjoyed this.